Hey everyone, welcome back and shout out to all my show choir girls. Today we are gonna do a show choir look for my show choir this year. Um, so if you are excited to see that, keep on watching. I'm going to prep my face and I will be right back. Okay, so then now that my face is all done and taken care of, we're going to start with going in with the blush. We're just going to take a regular brush, dab it on, go a little under and right at the apples of the cheeks. Just to bring a little bit of life to the face. You don't want to go too heavy on blush because it'll just look like you have rosacea. Just a little bit. All right, starting with the eyes, you wanna first prime it. I've already done that. Um, and going in with the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art and the this one color you're going to take the back end shadow and put it directly on your lids go right into your inner crease make sure it's all on there Then taking a blending brush, I'm going in and just blending out the edges of that. Alright, then going in with the e.l.f. palette in the California shades or whatever. like this. We're going to be using this bottom middle shade for the center, this silver bluish color for the inner crease, and then slightly in with this dark brown for the crease, which it's not dark enough for what we want, so we are going to use a different brown as well on top of it. So what I'm going to do is just go in with a kind of stiff brush. It's not the easiest product to pick up so you're going to want to kind of crush it a little with the back of your brush and pick up that pigment going right on the top of that cream and then you're going to do the same thing with that silver only this time we're going to put it in the crease because that's where that color is going it up, put it right in there, uh, good thing to know when putting this on is don't rub it to blend. Kind of do more patting motions so it will stick more to that cream. And we'll kind of keep that product pigmented. And then back into the crease. With this, I'm going to use a mini pencil brush.
And this is just gonna kind of set where I want this crease to be. Then kind of go right on the corner of the eye and blend a little in. I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit of silver just to blend that. Then I'm going in with a crease brush and I'm just gonna blend that out even more. And then I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl Gold Palette. Focus. And I'm gonna go in with this brown. I'm using this because most of us already have this from last year. And it's a nice dark brown that'll blend right in the crease. Going back in with that crease brush then. We're just gonna put more on there. Going back in again with the brown just to kind of help blend even more. This is all about blending. If there's one tip I can give to all of you, it is blend and blend and blend. And then once again, going back in with the white for more and more blending. It's just layers and layers and layers and layers and layers of blending. Then I'm going to go back in with this pencil brush. And I'm going to go right underneath the lash line with the brown. This brown. This one in from this palette. And I'm going to just kind of smoke out my eye. off any fallout. And then taking a, another blending brush, kind of bring that down just a little more. And this is going to be like a little prep for when we put the glitter on. As well as just a little added drama. So then next we're going to go in back in with the Revlon. This time using the glitter side. Load that up. And then get a little good size on there. And... Just put it right underneath. Don't be afraid to go on a little thicker with this, cause it's gonna look good on stage. So now that that's done, I'm going to put some eyeliner underneath, do a wing, put on lashes, and mascara, and I will be right back. All right, so I have finished with the lashes and eyeliner, so next I'm going to highlight real quick, cause I can't forget that. And then the last thing to finish off this look is the lips. We are using the Revlon. Oops, hold it right away. The Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in shade abuse, uh, addiction. Not abused, addiction. And feel free to do any preparations for your lips on top, lip liner, or anything. I'm just going right in with the product. And 
And there's that. And feel free to go in and clean it up at all if you want. But here is the final look. And let's have a great season. Bye.